when you're on a cutting diet also, um, when you're just waking up and throughout the whole day, you need to be drinking a lot of water. So what I do is I start my day off, just get one or two glasses of water in there, and then maybe half an hour later when I'm just uh, before my workout at the gym in the change room, another, uh, I, usually, I usually fill this up, usually fill this up with some water, you know, and I drink that down, and then during the workout, have more water. The reason why, and I'll, I'll probably talk about this in another video, that um, your body can't effectively lose and shed fat if it's dehydrated. It's just the way it works. You need to be able to flush out the fat, and I, I think I don't think that's a scientific way of looking at it. Like I don't think that's the actual process. But your body needs plenty of water in order to um, flush out. I'm going to say flush out the fat. And also, the more water you drink, the more calories that your body burns because it takes calories to process all that water. Um, and thirdly, um, the more water that you have, the less appetite you have. And this is actually true. I've, uh, I've tried it out on myself. The first two weeks, I wasn't drinking that much water. I felt dehydrated. And also, the, during those two weeks, I didn't see that many results. Um, but anyways, that's a side note. I wasn't taking as much water, and I noticed I was getting pretty hungry. And then, so, um, there was one day where I just said, like, every two to three hours, I would drink a full water thing of, of the shaker bottle. And during those days, I would be at, like, 16, 1,700 calories. would be, like, 9 p.m., and I'd be force-feeding myself to eat the last, like, 400, 500 calories at, like, 9 o'clock. And that's kind of crazy. Like, I was forcing myself to eat on a cutting diet, which was weird. So, all I'm going to say is that drink lots of water. Especially when you wake up because you haven't drank water in like eight, nine hours, and then um, you're gonna see a lot better results. Take the morning pee. Chop these up. Right now, I'm just making. Uh, uh, sandwich. I'm gonna have a banana. We're craving some banana honey sandwiches right now, and some almond butter as well. Um, so this is our only carb source for the day. So I just pack these in my gym bag, and then I eat them post workout. Put these on top. Day. Fitday.com. So yeah, I'm just getting the uh, almond butter. Um, so this is all natural almond butter. You see that there. The reason why I prefer almond butter is because it uh, has no preservatives or very little preservatives and it has healthier oils in it, so uh, I like using it better. Um, now I measure out everything, I don't even hear what this thing, it's a coffee maker. But yeah, I measure out everything, um, just turn the hot off. So, let me see this. And the reason why I measure out everything is because I'm counting the calories. It's important to know how many calories you're eating per day, so um, the only way to know is to know how much you've eaten, obviously. Look at that, oil on the top, it's the way it's supposed to be, not like peanut butter. Okay, so that's about a teaspoon, put that on top. So there's a finished product, you got the almond butter on it. Next obviously, stick it on top. Shoot, my bad. My bad. Stick it on top, you got your sandwich post workout. So you got one in there. No, mom, not really. I don't want to go camping. Um, and there you go. So you got that. And these are our post-workout meals. If you saw my last video, um, you know, I, I switch it up. I try and, like, switch it up and, and have different things, what I'm craving. Like, right now I'm craving bread. 
since this is the only time I get carbs per day, so, um, but yeah, like yesterday, if you guys saw my other video, I had oatmeal and it mixed with protein powder. So, uh, yeah, feel free to, to use the, the time and use the, use the space after the workout to, let's put this stuff away, to, um, enjoy the foods that you want. Just make sure that it's not like pure garbage or anything. You know, keep it pretty, you know, like this is white bread. It's not like healthiest thing in the world, but, um, yeah. Next up, uh, I quickly put together my shake. It's not really a shake. It's like my pre-workout kind of thing. Um, it's not a pre-workout. I don't use any pre-workout supplements right now. I don't think they're really worth it. Um, but I do put these together. So what I have are Extend, Scavation Extend, which is a branch chain amino acid. I have um, creatine that I just put inside this tub. It's just pure creatine monohydrate and some glutamine as well, just pure glutamine. So yeah, I put uh, about a scoop or two of the, of the branch chain amino acids, a teaspoon of creatine, and a heaping spoon, a heaping spoon of glutamine. This is about a little bit more than a teaspoon. Next up, um, I take this usually after my workout, but it doesn't really matter. Well, obviously I take the caffeine right when I wake up. But the uh, fish oils, and I also have vitamin D3. And um, I take these whenever, but um, these are really good. Fish oils help your body um, burn fat while retaining muscle, basically. <clears throat> it's also good for your joints, and it's good for your brain and just general health. So I take 10 of these per day. And uh, I've seen a lot of experts that say, you should, when you're trying to lose fat, to take at least one um, fish oil per percent of body fat that you have. So I'm guessing I'm at around 10 to 12 percent body fat right now, maybe a little less. But so I'm taking 10 fish oils per day, and uh, yeah, these are really powerful. I got them from a really good source. Maybe I'll link them in the description bar. Uh, they, I got them really cheap. I think they were like two cents each. So it's a really good deal. And uh, caffeine. Um, if you guys don't know, it's a fat burner helps you uh, increase your metabolism. It also increases your focus and your energy in the gym. And finally, it just gets me waking up. But yeah, so this is gonna help. I started putting these into my, into my supplement um, stack about two or three days ago. So what I usually do is I diet for two or three weeks, get my body just um, you know getting results just from the diet alone. Then I started including supplements. So I put 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is one tablet. Um, take that pre-workout. Maybe in two or three weeks, I might, I might double it to 400 milligrams of caffeine per day, and we'll see where it goes from there. So, um, one thing I would stress is that you don't go, you don't put all your, play all your cards at once, that you leave some up your sleeve so that if you hit a plateau, um, you can still have some great fat loss um, by, you know, in either adding supplements or um, increasing your cardio or lowering your carbs. There's so many things you can do. So yeah, don't play all your cards at once. And I wear black chucks because they look cool and because they're best for like squatting and deadlifting and all those kind of exercises. They give you ankle support. They're flat so they're not going to bounce. So yeah, this is my gym bag. It's almost as big as like a hotel bag, but I got my clothes in here. After I shower, I got my shampoo, got my towel, got boxing gloves because at the gym I have boxing um, punching bags. You know, I got different types of equipment, wraps, fat grips, all the stuff I need in here. Um, extra socks, extra underwear, obviously. And uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna stick my stuff in there. Close up the bag. And we out of here.
Not too crowded today. Not too crowded? Doesn't seem like it. It's not too bad. For 8.30? Yeah. Not bad. I think in the summer... Yeah. Cushy. Yeah, probably. They're all around that now. I think this one's the best value. Oh, there's no question. Because you're getting a huge gym, lots of equipment. All the classes are free. Yeah. I don't know if they're still doing that or not. I don't know. Okay, so all yeah. So uh, what we start with is some lat pull downs, it's the first exercise. Do like 12 reps. Um, this is just to warm up the back muscles before we get into weighted pull ups. So um, this isn't really a, a uh, fatigue exercise, it's just to warm up. Warm up those lats, the rotator cuff, shoulders and biceps. Here we've got Nathan doing pull-ups. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, awesome. Okay, it is Wednesday, June 22nd. Here's Nathan doing his... Yeah, just the fist though. Here's that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just showing you what he's got. Now I'm opening up our banana... Um, Almond butter and some honey sandwich. So this would be how much? Probably, uh, I'm not sure. 300 calories? More? Maybe a bit more. These are our only carbs for today, so. Oh crap, it broke. So uh, we cherish this meal post workout. Mm. These are the last carbs we're getting. I actually like this, not bad. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that's how it works. You enjoy your carb meal after the workout, and then you go hard for the rest of the day. Mm.